to talk to you about a guy called Joe Noble. Joe Noble was my great uncle. And the reason I'm, I want to talk to you about him was he did a lot of things. He accomplished a lot. And my one regret is not really visiting him enough. No. Joe Noble, which is him there, he was a cartoonist, cartoon animator. And he mixed um, animation with live action. And he created cartoon characters. And you can see uh, two of them here. Oris the Amorous Sound and Sammy and Sausage. And what happened was, he, 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 he's obviously not alive now, but I remember him. Um, so he, he created cartoons. And he created the first talking sound cartoon. And this is the, uh, the copyright for it, which I have. Um, so he was a cartoon animator. And this was in 1928 when he got this, um, when he copyrighted this. The trouble was, Walt Disney came along. And these cartoons came out of fashion. So when he was... Um, he, he did cartoon animations for uh, Pathé, Pathé Pictorial, and they were shown in cinemas before the main film. And he got very famous, and he, he created a lot of money, and then slowly, but surely, the fame left. And uh, he, when he, when he was an animator, he worked with his, his brother George. Now George was a, was a cameraman, and he actually w used the camera to to help Joe make cartoons. When Joe's fame went, um, he had these sketchbooks, which I've got here actually, and this one is for a light box, which um, is very carefully crafted, and I remember as a child getting a present, and I think it was a, it was a prototype of this, but as a kid you don't realize it. Um, and what it was, he, um, he was very much into ideas. And so he created these, these kind of, in these, in these sketchbooks in his later life, when he was at home, probably with not making cartoons, he came up with these ideas. One was a buoyancy, one was a light box, and there are others. And the reason I photograph them is because he's got very neat handwriting. But later on, you can see that, I, I don't know if you can see this, but the handwriting changes and it's like a child's handwriting. And it says, go to bed when it gets dark. And to me, that suggests dementia, because my mother suffered from dementia. So we can see from these mementos that his handwriting changed. So I always, I always uh, regret not seeing him because he went into a care home. In the 80s, he, well, earlier on, he, he looked, this is Joe, and he looked after his father, so he, 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 never, he never married, actually, and I remember listening to an interview with him, and it's at the BFI, and he comes across as very kind of um, idiosyncratic, and, he's, and what made me, what really took me back in time, he has a Mancurian accent, and I didn't, and I'd forgotten that. And it's listening to his voice again after about, I don't know, 45 years. It really took me back. But he, he was interviewed by The Guardian um, about life after animation. And we can see this, you know, he, needs, he talks about his cartoons, and his cartoons are there. And he talks about his solitary life. But <coughs> what it does is, this, this guy, I, re I regret not seeing him more often, actually. Um, because he did have a quite a lonely life. But he taught me quite a lot of things, and, and that is to follow your ideas. He never went to art school. Nobody taught him. Nobody taught him to be a cameraman. They, they kind of taught themselves, and they grew up very different. Um, obviously, his, his daughter was my mother, but Joe grew, grew up, and he became very isolated. 
but what stuck at, stood out for me was that he was very much into his ideas and he wanted he wanted I think he wanted I do remember him giving me a microscope actually and that is incredible because I, I, I was fascinated by looking at flies under the microscope and things like that and he's taught me one thing and that is follow your ideas because um, he created a lot and it was and it was his his own doing it was his idea his persistence and his dedication that got him there so thanks very much for listening <laughs>